There are several types of small fruit and berries that are produced in pot culture in greenhouse and outdoor production. Those crops include things such as strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, crops like that. The ideal growing media for all the various types of, of small fruit will depend on basically the grower preference, the container size, and the cultural practices that they experience. So there's, and the nice thing is with our ProMix product line, we offer products that can cater to these different needs. As I mentioned, there are several mixes that can apply to the specific needs of a customer. It depends on what your specific needs are. For instance, if you're looking to use a mix that you can have inside the greenhouse for smaller containers, maybe gallon size or smaller, the product that would probably work out for you would be either the ProMix BX Mycorrhizae, which is a combination of peat, perlite, and vermiculite, or the ProMix LP15, which is a combination of peat and perlite. Both products have high water have high water holding capacity, so they don't dry out very rapidly, so they're great to use during the summer months, but they still have good aeration. They're lightweight, so they're easy to handle and, for and easy to transport. Now for, still for indoor production in small containers up to much larger containers, and especially outdoor production, we would recommend some of our bark-based growing media. We have two Canadian products, the Promix BRK and BRK20, as well as two products from our plant in Mattaponi, Virginia, which would be our Promix uh, BK25 and BK55. All these products are peat, bark-based, with perlite added. And the idea of having the bark in there is it gives a little bit of extra drainage, so it's ideal for transitioning not only for greenhouse crop production, but also for the outdoor production of fruits. And the extra weight from the bark will also prevent the pots from tipping over, especially in the wind. So between the bark and the perlite providing extra drainage, they're actually good mixes to use even for the winter months as well. Now, bark mixes in general do tend to dry a little bit faster than the BX and even a little bit faster than the HP that I mentioned before. So this will help minimize uh, any issues with diseases. Bark also is a great material to use for long-term crop production. Another reason why it's good for pots that are larger than gallon size, uh, because the bark itself doesn't shrink in the pot or decompose as quickly. Another option, if you're looking for a greenhouse mix or even an outdoor mix that has very high water retention, we would recommend our ProMix HPCC. This is a combination of peat, chunk core, and perlite. And the chunk core itself will actually retain a lot of water and give it back to the growing media as the crop is growing. So you don't need to water the product as often, so it's ideal, especially for summer growing in larger containers, especially indoors or outdoors. For organic production of small fruit, we'd recommend the ProMix MP. MP is a combination of peat, uh, core, and perlite. It's ideal for year-round production of small fruit in gallon-sized containers or smaller. It does have a higher water retention, very similar to our BX and LP15, so there's less, so it doesn't need to be watered quite as frequently. There's no compost added to this product, so you don't get that plugging up the pores which kind of limits oxygen to the root system, so you get an active growing root system, which helps produce faster growth and a faster crop time. Now, however, what does make ProMix unique is not so much the different types of mixes, but the, but the uh, active ingredients that we can add to it. The active ingredients are essentially natural organisms that have been extracted from the soil. They're not genetically modified. So the first one we offer is our mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizae is a vesicular, arbuscular, endomycorrhizal fungi called Glomacinoraticines. It will colonize small, the roots of small fruits of all plants except for blueberries. Now, in that case, the mycorrhizae doesn't cause any problems for the blueberries. The blueberries just simply don't utilize it. But for all the other plants, you're going to get increased uptake of nutrients because essentially once the mycorrhizae colonizes the root system, it grows out past the root system where the roots are not present to bring in water and nutrients where the roots are not available. Therefore, it more efficiently mines out the growing media for nutrients and for water. So think of mycorrhizae as kind of an extension of the root system. So what, how does that benefit you? Well, first of all, because it can acquire the nutrients and water more efficiently, it delays the onset of nutrient deficiency symptoms, as well as it delays the onset of wilting. It also increases resistance from environmental stresses in addition to that. And as a result, when you're transitioning maybe from a smaller container size to a larger size, you don't see the transplant shock delay that normally occurs. And on top of it, you also get faster plant establishment. You get 
better initial growth and better sustained growth, especially if there's stress involved. Bottom line, larger plants will produce more fruit. The second active ingredient is our biofungicide. It's a bacterium called Bacillus subtilis. It colonizes the root system of all small fruit plants and is present throughout the entire crop cycle of that plant. It basically will suppress root rots caused by the fungal pathogens Alternaria, Fusarium, Pythium, and Rhizoctonia. It will reduce fungicide drenches by up to 50%, so that's great news whether you have to drench them inside the greenhouse or if you're growing them outside. In some cases, it completely eliminates the need for the fungicide drenches because the root system is healthier. So the bottom line is you save money on those fungicides. It also helps to reduce plant loss. So obviously the lower your plant loss is, the more plants you have to sell, and therefore you can increase your crop production simply from that fact alone. And third would be the combination of both the biofungicide and the mycorrhizae together. So there you will get the benefits of both organisms in one product.